Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to Subnautica. Seek it's fluid Seek Fluid Intake. It's episode four of our Subnautica Blind playthrough here on YouTube. I hope you're having a great day. I am absolutely grinning from the inside and out. We have filtered water. We should consume it. Uh, stabilizing. As I record this, we have uh, released uh, the first two episodes of Subnautica out on YouTube, and it's gotten such a warm uh, welcome and like a warm response and that makes me really really i feel very lucky and blessed if you watched those episodes thank you so much uh there were a ton of incredible comments i'm doing my best to uh respond to all of them um we have uh yeah we have uh, a lot of a lot of incredible people commenting so thanks uh hey welcome back so in the last episode uh we encountered a lot of danger and i have ideas about what to do about some of that danger and some things that we need to craft and maybe some ideas on what we can do in today's episode. But first, I wanted to cover two things. Uh, first things first. Um, somebody asked a great comment in, uh, on the second episode, I think. Uh, and I wanted to address it. They asked uh, if I would like mechanics explanations, game mechanic explanations. You know, obviously, we're no spoilers here on this uh, on this playthrough, considering it's blind. Uh, they also asked, would you like explanations of game mechanics? And I, my answer to that is this. Uh, I'll, I figured I would talk about it in a very early episode and then we'll get it out of the way and we'll get back to playing. Uh, obviously, no spoilers. If you can, please avoid uh, explaining game mechanics to me. I love to like piece together, puzzle it, puzzle through it uh, on my own and uh, and probably make mistakes along the way, but that gives me such a good feeling playing a game uh, and I bet you like uh, watching me struggle a little bit with that too. Uh, so yeah, game mechanics, back CD, that kind of stuff. If we can avoid it, uh, I would appreciate it. I know it's not uh, entirely possible to avoid, but that's all I want to say. All right, so I got two very helpful comments uh, on those videos. Uh, one was about a thing I'll talk about later. The other one was to go to our databank and look at survival package. Um, because I don't think I actually read any of this stuff. <laughs> uh, let's start here. Uh oh, let's start here. Damage to your PDA's hard drive has corrupted approximately eighty percent of stored survival blueprints. That explains the lore behind why we don't have. A ton of stuff here. Blueprints, blueprints may be reacquired by scanning a salvaged technology using the handheld scanner or by downloading plans. Cool. Uh, from a data box. We should keep an eye out for that. In the circumstances, these assets will most likely be found amongst wreckage from the Aurora. So look for wreckage. Cool. Survival checklist. First aid. Take inventory. Survey environment for threats. Threats? I don't see any threats in Subnautica. Um, construct survival equipment, repair the life pod, broadcast distress signal, which I think we did. This we did. Permanent habitat. Cool, cool, cool. Great. Also, it said start here, and I'm not starting here. Oh, no. <laughs> this is just uh, about what the actual PDA does. Great. Um, Aurora ship status. It had a crew of, oh my god, we're getting so much story. Holy shit. Obviously, when it's daytime, we're going to go swim around. But for now, let's dive into a little bit of story. Altera Long Range Capital Ship. Uh, it was a phase gate, arm phase gate installation, three-year operation time. 23 command people, 85 engineers, 40 support crew, 9 passengers. Uh, we sustained heavy damage. Evacuation data unavailable. Dark matter ion drive. I think that might be the thing that blew up. Manned robotics suite. Advanced Scanner Suite, Long Range Communications Relay, Habitation Section, Accommodation for 150 people. It is, uh, it is light time. <laughs> light time. It's daytime. <laughs> light time. You know, nighttime and light time. Everybody knows that, right? And that's our person. All right, cool. Or our thing. Beautiful. I think it's time to get back in the, in the water. So here is uh, the thing that concerns me the most. I have one bladder fish and I have no uh, water. So I think our first goal, now that we are uh, slightly, uh, slightly more, we have our our, our bearings, uh, is we should make sure that we have a shit ton of water. <laughs> I think we should make sure we get an absolute shit ton of water. I have to drink this water right now. I probably need to eat. Uh, I probably need to cook the hoop fish. Never eat the antenna. It says. Oh God. Okay. Along the way, we'll try and scan everything we can. We'll try and, you know, all that jazz. But, um, let's eat this right now. 
23 and 3. Okay. Uh, and that's sort of the best stats that we have. I think that I had a notification that we had a radio message. This is Avery Quinn of yep. Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. No. Nothing but vacuum. Aurora does not read. Terrorist ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still yes. need our assistance? Over. Yes, we do. Yes. I'll Can I... try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's going to have us blowing our credits, running errands for Altera. <laughs> See what the long-range scans pick up in the meantime? Long-range scans pick up in the meantime? Can I use the radio to send a message? Hello? Please? No? Okay, great. Love that. Interesting. So we may have somebody, trading ship Sunbeam, may be headed for the Aurora, but also um, if they keep not getting messages, they may not. I really don't know. Um, I really don't know. We need to switch container, which is right click. Get rid of some of the rest of this stuff. Let's go find some bladderfish and food and do well we can't hey here's the other super helpful comment i got um f6 yeah cycles between different uh different uh it, it gets rid of the the mask which i love hell yeah okay thank you guys for the very helpful comments okay so there was the thing that fucked us up i think I think it was down there. We need bladder fish and we need food to cook. Peepers are great for food. We discovered last time. Um, and peepers, there's bladder fish. Bladder fish, one. Um, we also want to scan stuff, right? Yeah. No? Okay. All right. Scanning, scanning. Cool, cool. There's a peeper right there. I see you. I see you. My goal this episode is really like to just get my freaking feet under me have like, I think I could probably just keep peepers alive and uh, scan a limestone chunk. Oh, you're right. I do have to breathe. You're right. I have to breathe. All right, cool. Good talk. I had forgotten about that. Beautiful. Um, can I have the titanium? Great. Nothing, nothing. Okay. Uh, break, break, break. Copper, great. So, peepers and bladderfish. This is where the big boys sit. Over by the, the kelp-looking stuff. So we gotta avoid. Oh my god, it's so much better now that I don't have to, uh, worry about, uh... Uh, breathing every 30 seconds, or 40 seconds, or whatever it was. Bladderfish, beautiful. Uh, there's something right there. We're looking for we're looking for wreckage. Nope, just metal salvage. Okay, I can't scan it. What is this? We're gonna run out of oxygen. We're gonna run out of oxygen. It's a salt deposit. Great. Go 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 go. <laughs> ah! Oh, it's fine. Not worried about drowning. It's totally cool. All right. Um, our base is over there. Bladder fish. Hell yes. Oh man, it's been a couple days since I recorded, and I've just been. Wanting to do nothing but record. It's uh it's the worst, best kind of problem to have uh when starting a new game. Like Okay, that's one of those gasopods or gazopods, whatever. Um all I want to do is play the new game. I'm obsessed. But if I just play the game like eight hours one day, then I then I won't get to record the next day, you know? <laughs> Alright, we got two peepers over here, one here, one here. Uh, my goal is just to get this inventory, like, as full as I can with... Ooh, bladderfish? Oh, dude, I hit the mother load over here. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Oh, that's plenty of oxygen. It's fine. Metal scrap or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take both of you. I'm fully going to run into something bad here in a second. And not have the oxygen to... Get out of it alive. We're fine. Woo! Okay. Every time I breach the surface like that, it's a uh, it's a little bit of a uh, 
a exhale moment. I know that it's like an actual exhale moment in the game too, but it's also a little bit of a exhale moment in uh, real life. Did I scan one of these boys? I don't really remember if we scan one of these guys. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Oh, I don't. I don't really like going in ravines. Rabbit Ray. No, come here. Uh, okay, we're gonna read. We're gonna read a bunch here in a second, but not while I'm underwater. Keeper. Was that a laughing sound? That sounded like a uh, maniacal laughing sound. Floater. Floating rock. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, it gets dark blue over there. Holy shit, how close to the bottom are we? Oh, it tells you at the top, obviously, Ryan. Duh, it tells you right at the top. All right, let's read a little bit. Uh, we worked on some uh, databank stuff there. Uh, let's really make sure we're getting... Nope, we already read that one. All right. So that was the data download that we mentioned. We did have a data download from that other thing. That's right. Okay. Advanced theories was alien eggs. Okay, we're learning how to navigate the menu today. All right. Um, limestone outcrops. Unusual geological structures often form around titanium and copper deposits distinct to this planet. Closer analysis reveals the stone around the metal has been hardened against erosion. Mechanism remains unknown. Okay. Titanium and copper are the limestone things. Then we have table coral, which is the flat on the side of things or maybe on the top of stuff. Flat little tables. Um, they filter nutrients from the water. Assessment exploitable in computer chip fabrication. Um, they're in direct competition for positions with superior current or light. Very cool. Unlike other coral species, its structure is malleable. Softly pulsating as it pumps nutrients to its extremities. Okay, I didn't realize we were getting all hot and steamy over here. Jesus Christ. Uh, only turning rigid when it senses physical assault. That got dark really quickly. Uh, a rabbit ray. This motherfucker I'm interested in. Because it's so colorful. Uh, herb uh, herbivorous aquatic life form. Rabbit rays appear to live serene and solitary lives. With few predators, a natural sense of curiosity, and awesomely poisonous flesh. <laughs> a couple ears. They sense vibration. Undulating wings. Similar to that of earth rays. Okay. Evidence indicates its large side-facing eyes are relatively recent adaptations. They didn't have eyes forever? Ah, uh, listen, I'm on it. I will, I will. Floaters. Two species living in symbiosis, which attach to and attempt to feed on any objects they come into contact with. The dominant life form is the pink main body and inner suction jaw. Okay. Uh, it's attached to an organism or other stable surface. It tries to leach nutrients. The microorganism membrane around the outside, mesh of microorganisms, capable of forming a sealed vacuum. A uh, thin layer of helium is stored there. Cool, cool, cool. May aid in flotation of some sunken objects. I don't exactly know how to attach them to each other, though. To other things yet. I tried that, I think, in the last episode. I couldn't figure out perfectly how to attach other things to it, if that makes sense. Uh, how much stuff do we have? Our inventory. We got room for more. We got room for more. I should probably take some of these table coral. Um. Oh, I can't take it. Weird. Okay. I thought I needed it. Maybe I have to find a way to harvest it? Uh, peeper? Excuse me, peeper? You're so fast. You're the fastest little motherfucker that's ever existed. I'm headed back home. I'm just catching peeper along the way. And bladderfish. So that we can have, like, a full storage of them and we don't have to worry about it for a while. Oh, you're... Wait. You're not new, but I... Oh. It's Gazepod. Uh, I hadn't scanned you yet. Grab you. I scanned you. Man, being underwater is just, like... <laughs> it's an exercise in just, like, uh... Sort of, like, ADHD. <laughs> like... You just watch shiny things go past you. Uh, and... And resist or fail to resist, in my case. 
lashing out at them. Be like, huh, oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, what, what could that be? Bladderfish. Beautiful. Okay. We should check in at some point. Oh, I hate that sound. I, I know that it's probably just you guys, but I do hate that sound. I think we should check in at some point on... Oh, that means a radio transmission. That's So that is what that means. Okay. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. Yeah. I didn't know how bad... How many of you... I, I didn't know. Yep. We're now en route to your location. One. We're going to bring you home. Sunbeam out. Incredible. What uh, else I... can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Seek fluid intake immediately. Listen, I get it, I get it, I get it. So, wait. There's two distinct, uh, like, <coughs> excuse me, ways of talking there. And, uh, one of them is like you the outgoing transmission Aurora, talking to aurora and the other one is like speaking to himself or to a i can't tell if he's speaking to himself or speaking to another crewmate one of the two uh interesting last time he tried to park on a rock that small i don't know that we have any rocks i'll be honest with you I forgot. Someone else mentioned in the comments that if I hold shift when I click something, it uh it keeps the menu open. Um So, shout out to that person. Uh okay. So, we have the water, uh which is great. As far as I know, this water is not going to go bad. So, we can just make as much of that as we would like. Uh the peepers, I think we should probably keep in I want to test out a system, which is just keeping the peepers themselves, like, here. Uh, I don't know how to do this. We should probably just take, like, we'll take all the ore stuff out of here. And then we chuck in, like, most of you. I um, guess we should take that, too. Chuck in most of the peepers, and we'll eat probably two. Fabricator, sustenance, cooked food, cooked peeper. So if I hit shift apparent while well, I click, apparently it just keeps it open. Let's eat two let's eat let's cook three. And we'll see what that does. For our our hunger, which is at uh twenty six. So plus thirty two. Plus thirty two. Very close to full. Alright. Then maybe we keep this one on us, you know? I don't know. It's a thought. As long as these uh, these peepers in here don't... <coughs> Excuse me. Don't go bad. Uh, I think we'll be okay. Uh, and we won't have to fish for a while now. So that was sort of my goal number one. Uh, I'm going to read this entry and then I think on Gary Fish and then I think we got to figure out what goal number two is. Probably like managing our storage considering we're going to be full any second now. Um, Gary Fish has eye stalks. It looks hilarious. It looks like something out of a cartoon. Uh, slow moving, curious herbivore. Camouflage indicates adaptation for evasive behavior. I love the like ecology type talk. You know, I'm that kind of person who read, uh, who who read or and or reads still Dune, uh, of note from the the new movie, and like I read the appendix cover to cover like multiple times, and I'm like. Dude, the ecology of this planet is so freaking cool. Uh, okay, it's got eye stalks. Beneficial for w when watching for predators from hiding places among the coral. That's cool. More active during daylight. Slow and docile at times. Uh, it is edible. Okay, so... Uh, let's take a look at our fabricator. Figure out what's next. Actually, you know what? What, w what would this thing tell me to do next? This thing was always saying... Uh, Let's see. 
survival package uh survival checklist first aid done inventory done survey done necessary survival equipment i think we may actually still have some i think we've repaired anything everything on the live pod broadcast distress signal did i do that Distress signal received. Yes, I did, and that's what this was. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, we are... Oh, uh, we are screwed, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We are screwed. Absolutely f screwed. Great. Other survivors we've had no luck with. Construct more permanent habitat. All right. Maintain physical and psychological health until rescue. We're going to go hop on the treadmill real quick and uh, go from there. I think our sea glide should be next probably right sea glide uh battery lubricant copper wire all right let's see here battery lubricant copper wire i think we have lubricant somewhere is that right we can make one copper wire uh battery is just acid i got acid mushrooms i have acid for days uh, we'll take a couple. I don't remember. I may need the silicone. I'm not sure. Don't mind me just hitting escape to get out of the PDA menu like a like a noob. Uh, fabricator, resources, battery. Oh my god. Are we going to have a sea glide done today? Lubricant. I swear I made this already. Creep find sea cluster. Oh, I do have it still. Okay, great. Hell yeah escape god damn it uh hell yeah oh my god we're gonna do it uh lubricant let's go why do you need lubricant for a sea glide in construction of vehicles and power plants oh for the engine of course okay i mean for whatever there's some movement going in, on inside of it i'm not gonna pretend to be an engineer sea glide let's fucking go let's go Let's fucking go. All right. Uh, will increase your effective exploration is it on my hotbar? It is. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. It almost looks like it wants to spin. How do you... What button do you use? I mean, we should test it out, right? Oh, it is night time. Oh, wait, what is happening here? Hold up. Is that a map of where I am? It's a radar. <gasps> In the light. Oh, I don't have to have it on. But I can if I want. Okay, this is totally fine. Not in any way, shape, or form creepy. This is totally fine. That's that's the area we don't go. Those are the creep vine clusters. We do not go there. Uh, we're zooming. We're zooming. Power 96. We beached that like a dolphin. Oh my god, we're zooming. We're soaring. We're flying. Oh my god. That's the way we don't go. Why do I insist on flying right towards those things? Uh, there's little. Oh my god. The bioluminescent. Let's turn it off, honestly. Turn the, uh, turn the light off. Silence. This is the coolest shit I've ever seen. This is the greatest moment of my life. Can we go through the thing? Of course we're gonna go through the thing. What do you think? We weren't going to go through the thing? We're going to swim right past this gaze pod and scare the shit out of it. Oh, hi, buddy. This is the first moment it's really felt like I'm at home here. Oh, we're just zooming. There's the big boys. Stay away from those boys. Oh, shit. Oxygen. <laughs> oh, the music. I'm going to go home to my life pod 
and there's gonna be a message about how I am fucked and I'm staying here forever. But at least I'll always have this moment. This is so good. Holy cow. Uh, I'm, I'm grinning and I can't help it. You know that, you know that feeling? You're just like, I would, I would like to gain control of my, of my mouth again and not have it be in a grin, but I just cannot help it. Oh shit. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us. This might happen. Pre-recorded? Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Wait. What? Location uploaded to PDA. Wait. I'm gonna have to read that again. Direct. Like I'm gonna directly have to read that again. But. Sea glide increases your sure sure sure. Uh, we know that. Ozzy, it's pre-recorded distress call. Pre-recorded? Why? I wanted it to be live. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod, escape pod, was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay. I don't know what that is. On the way down, now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system in this grim-looking snake thing. That sounds like a, uh, 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 a, 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 what, a, whatchamacallit. Um, you know, a one, the one thing. Racer, whatever it's called. Trying to eat through the hole. Come get us already. Uh, okay. Where? Um. This is the one that I turned off. 100 meters. Stranded near a cave system and under attack. Oh my god, we gotta go immediately, right? It's that way, 400 meters and then down? Yo, do we have the oxygen for this? It's deep. Oh no. Uh, okay. Uh, we gotta run. We gotta run. We gotta run. How do I make a better one? How do I... Uh, high capacity. Standard O2 take. Glass. Silver ore. Ah, piss. I don't know that I can make silver. I can make glass, though. Uh, silver. Have I found silver yet? Uh, I've not found silver. Oh, no. All right, let's just double check real quick. Just to be absolutely sure. 100%. Ah, uh, no. I mean, is it actually going to matter how quickly I get there? <laughs> it's, it's, it's probably going to matter, right? Where's my storage? There it is. Okay. Um. Edit locker name? That's not what I meant to click. Waterproof lock. Uh, there. Just floaters. Shit. Shit. Uh, chuck you there, I guess. Uh, okay, sure. I guess we're just keeping this stuff. I should probably take a little bit of food. Ah! I'm panicking! I'm panicking! Can I get in here? I gotta find out how to make glass. I don't think I have glass, right? Oh, no. I'm letting my people down. I also need a compass. Uh, there's so many things I need to make. Seamoth Bay. Seamoth. What does that mean? Seamoth Bay? What does that mean? These are rhetorical questions. Obviously, I'm gonna find that out in the next... I need silver, not glass. Shit. Alright, well, grab a couple peeps. Hit the road. Uh, I can eat one of those. Did I just eat a raw one? Fuck. Never mind. I'm coming. I promise. I just have to make myself dinner first. It's totally fine. I'll be right there. What, what did you say your name was? From the cafeteria? I honestly don't remember you. What, what was your name? Uh, Ozzy? Ozzy, did we meet before? I honestly don't remember you. Uh, but I'm coming. I'll be right there. I have a sea glide, and I think 100 meters might honestly kill me in terms of the sheer pressure, but I'll be right there. Oh, buddy. The problem is we're not going to be able to do it during this episode. Unfortunately, this is about the end of this episode, uh, but I'm going to at least try and get over there. I'm going to avoid the I'm going to avoid the big guys, though. Avoid the big guys. Avoid the big guys. Oh, man. Oh, I'm nervous. Diving deep? Of course they want me to dive deep. Of course this game would make me want to dive deep now. Stranded near... What am I going to do when I get there? I don't even have... I have a flare. I have a fucking flare. Oh, I didn't even think about a knife. Whoa. <gasps> I can see it. And that... Is going to have to do it. 
for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for another one. If you enjoyed any part of this episode, a like and a positive comment down below it will help us out so very much with the YouTube algorithm. You guys have been awesome about that so far. Uh, I thank you deeply from the bottom of my heart. Uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. EST to try and try and rescue Ozzy? Question mark? We'll see you then. Bye-bye.